Okay, now having done your script, you might want to render out the result. The way we do that is with a right node, and the keystroke for that is a simple W, right. And you're faced with, uh, let's just go up here. This is our right node, that's our read node. You're faced with our kind of fairly explicable dialog box. It kind of springs to life when you put the right information in it. So we copy that there. We copy that, we make sure that's a TIFF. And hit enter, and you see that all that changes. If I change that to say a uh, JPEG, see these values change as well. You see, so what goes on down here changes according to what you put at the end there. Okay, now sources. Okay, so that's rendering out into the same file that the read note is coming from. Let's just change these values here. And I happen to know that there is also a render folder there. And let's zoom out. Now, render, let's just press this up. OK. And do a small sequence. Let's say, um, uh, let's just clear the folder. I believe I've got some stuff there already. Let's do a um, a 150 to 155 and bang and away it goes pretty much as you'd expect and there in the render file we have five frames let's just open them all up together just cycle through them in preview. Okay, so why do we render out in images and not a movie? Well, many reasons. Um, for one, it is the de facto professional way of, of rendering out a movie. Uh, all a movie is is a sequence of, of images um, played one after the other very quickly. But also there's a very good practical reason that if in the course of your render your if, if you're rendering a, a, a movie file and we can let's just go up here there's a light stick dot mov and there we go now if you render out that movie and halfway through the render something goes wrong then the entire render time is is uh, wasted so um, uh, the, you can abort the render, the render can collapse at any point, and you're still left with however many frames uh, you have rendered if you're rendering out as a sequence. So, uh, and it's very easy to turn a sequence into a, um, uh, into a movie just using uh, QuickTime. If you just open up QuickTime, you'll notice that there's a, oh, let's see now, let's open, open image sequence. There you go. And it'll ask you, it'll go to a directory and it'll ask you for your first image and you navigate to it, press open and hey presto, it'll open up your sequences as a single movie. Um, so that's right out. Uh, the only other m mildly interesting part of this dialog box is the render order bit. And if you have there are occasionally instances when you have, say, five or six write nodes, and you want them to render in a particular order. For instance, you might want to render out one to begin with, and then read in the result of that for another write out. So, uh, and that's what that is for. You can rent, you can determine which order the 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 writes happen, but it's not often you'll need that, and everything else in that. Uh, dialog box is fairly explicable. Okay, so there's the right node.